Hey, it's Chad from Winning Tennis here, and I wanna do part two of my forehand series where I'm showing you how to hit the ATP Tour forehand. Now, if you haven't seen the first one, go see it. It's linked somewhere here, or maybe the link is in the description. But what we went through is basically getting set up to get into the power position, which is where we pivot, we, we bring the racket back, we get the hand out, and this would be our power position. If I'm hitting that direction, and it would look something like this. And we wanna make sure that we get the racket in this position right here. Now, we're gonna go from this position, and we're not gonna go through the whole stroke, but I wanna go through the, the swing to contact in this video. It's gonna be in three parts. The last part is gonna be contact to follow through. Okay, we're gonna break it up for you so it's very simple and easy to follow. All right, like I said, we're in our power position and we have our left hand up, racket here. From this point, we need to bring the racket back. Now, as we bring the racket back here, we could still have our left hand up. We're looking at the ball, okay? So if I was hitting towards the camera, I would be bringing the racket back. My left hand could still remain up. Now from this position, when we bring the racket back, we can bring the racket back like Federer or Nadal, and we have the racket right here with the arm straight. Now I brought this little table here to demonstrate something. A famous coach, Rick Macy, said you should lay your racket on that table. When you just lay kind of a short table for me, I really need a taller table. Okay, so now we have our racket around the table or here. From this point, from this point right here, we are going to pull the racket into the ball, okay? So as we pull that racket into the ball, you notice the, how my racket snapped back like that. From this angle, you can see it snaps back. From the back angle, if I was hitting this way away from the camera, you would see it snaps back like here. Now, there's a misconception that the racket is going behind my body like this, like some of the female players do. That's not the case. We never want to have the arm on the, what do you call it, inside or outside, but on this, this side of the body. We don't want to see that. It's actually quite difficult for me to do. Uh, it doesn't feel natural. So what I want to do is when I bring that racket back, my hand, if you notice, it's on the right side of my body. So if I'm a righty, it's going to be on the right side of my body. If it's a lefty, it's going to be on the left side of my body. To see some club players actually bringing the racket back way back here. And what, what that does is it, gives you, it can give you a little bit more power in a sense, but it really takes away and detracts from your timing. So ATP tour players, guys I'm talking about, do not do that. They set the racket here, okay? As I'm taking my left hand out to show you, they set the racket here, and then what they do is they, as they initiate the rotation, there's a violent snap of the racket. So the butt cap would actually be facing the opponent or the net as they're coming through, and they bring it all the way through still in this position. One, one uh, common mistake I see from club players is they release the racket too soon. So when they release it too soon, they're coming in very, very stiff on the ball like this. You wanna try to come in towards the ball as long as possible and then we make that snap into the ball in front of us. Okay. That's really it, that's, that's the whole, that's the whole uh, secret to this, is basically when you go to swing, the racket on its own is gonna flip back. You don't wanna try to do it on your own, you're not gonna have the same success as if you just think about turning the hips, turn the hips and just loose wrist and let the racket flip back, bring it, once it flips back, you're just bringing it all the way to contact and then right here, you're just releasing a little bit on contact. That's where we're stopping in this video. Right here, boom. If you wanna hit a higher shot, bring the racket up higher, keep it up high, and come through here, make contact. Okay, we're gonna stop at the contact. 
Now, one of the things I see is when the ball is high, and I've gone through this in a couple of other videos, people, because they, you know, some, some guys or women learned to play in the 70s and 80s, so they have the racket really low, and they're trying to hit a ball up here, and then what happens is they have to bring the racket up, and they end up blooping the ball or not hitting the ball very hard, and it's very difficult to control. So if you do receive a high ball, what you want to do is have the racket back a little higher than normal. Okay, and then we could set the racket, we could do the same thing, we could let the racket come take, do that snap back, okay, and then come through on the high shot here. And that's it guys, I mean you could have a, you can be like Federer and Nadal and you can keep your arm straight, or you could be like Kyrgios, Djokovic, um, a few others that keep a bent arm, and when you come through, I've, I've experimented with both. Um, I think I use the variations, depends on the, the forehand. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope it helps you with your forehand. I would really appreciate if you subscribe and click the like button. Thank you. Check out part one of the forehand series here and part three right here. I hope this helps. It's my pleasure to put these videos out. Keep practicing. I'll see you on the court.